Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah! The cabbage farmer has returned! About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, ship. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the lost beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we meet? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Porto Prime. <laughs> and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to her cause. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's put a crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Sight. I say this is a good day to light in George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what we've done. Hold your fire! Don't want to sink her. Now's the time, let's board her. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Fires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the market before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But Haiti's a French colony now. There's Perse shade. 
serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. The danger's behind. Hold down and clue up. Draw a banker. You better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. What's on your mind, Captain? A bit of business, that. Topsail, skeleton, royal. Uh, Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Percy. They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen straight into the water. The scoundrels must pay. And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, hands across. What say you? you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Caesar. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. 
Well, what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? Templars take to this heart. Don't feel liberated. Pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdered bastards who want to control the world at every minute. Never forget. We have nothing in common with that, of course. Captain Cormac has the helm! Get the mainsails into the wind! Get them aloft! Down's all sign! Weather's coming against us! and royals. Careful. It's quite a rough squall, Captain. There it is. Anticusti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. That weather looks bad. He's off the wind. All down. Dock the down. ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticusti Island. Miss my Marie, such a true and fine heart as a heart tree. Where did you meet her? At her third wedding. <laughs> I slipped into the feast. I would say you slipped into more than that. Not much. Good. Come with me. I'm going to round up some cattle for hey. Silas Thatcher. You doing anything right now? Not much. Good. Come with me. I'm going to round up some cattle for Silas Thatcher in Boston. You want to run this game? That's the way! so many Royal Navy ships about. I suppose because there are more French ships to challenge them. So, I'll go to the first one. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. 
We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks.